Hello everyone, Black Ice here and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. Last time we left off, we completed our first trial and today we're going to Route 3. Let's see what the heck Gilamo wants, jeez. Alright, it's not that bad. And actually, since there's a bunch of- Oh man, I knew there's a bunch of shortcuts here, but I forgot they rush you down and it's just like, not cool man. Alright, just a young goose anyway, so we could probably just run. Hello cutie fly. We didn't miss you, I mean, not that you're bad or anything, but, you know, we didn't need to miss you because you were so good and, you know, being in the action 100% of the time, even though I think that's, like, technically not true. We're gonna get rushed down again, I bet, before we get out of here. Alright, not exactly what I imagined, but we do get another wild Pokemon encounter. Oh, it's a Diglett. Alright. Well, I think I'll catch Diglett. I don't think I'll have you on the team because I don't like Alolan Diglett's typing. Actually, yeah, we gotta go for the Absorb. And hopefully we'll be like unaffected by some of Diglett's attacks here. Okay, so we are affected by ground type attacks. Good to know. Um, yeah, I guess we just keep going for the Absorb. Just slowly whittle down its health. And then go for the Pokeball throw. It's gonna keep going for the sand attack. You know what? If I miss, I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. Just because I wanna get this over with. Okay, we don't get the miss, so that's good. It's down below half health. We could probably Pokeball now. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I forgot. Cutie Fly's Fairy type. Uh oh, Diglett's calling for help. Not cool, man. I thought only Totem Pokemon could do that. But I guess only. That, that's weird, actually. Alright, whatever, though. Um, we'll go for the nest ball because it's like a guarantee at this point. Alrighty, Diglett. A one. A two. A three. Take me out to the ball game. No, uh, we're not going to do uh, Harry Carry in this video. Harry Carry probably doesn't even know what Pokemon is. Alright, so we get the level up. Silver Wind's probably going to be decent. I don't think I want to get rid of Struggle Bug, though, so... Ooh. Because Stun Spore's good, Fairy Wind's good. Absorb is okay. Let's see, that does 20 power. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, we're going to go for the Silver Wind. I mean, we get Stab and the chance to raise all our stats in exchange for not being able to absorb health from our opponents. Alright, we get to add Diglett to the Pokédex. Welcome, you little nugget. That's a good name for him. I'm gonna name him... Uh, what should I name him? Ooh, I, I got an idea. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> um, well, actually, since he's gonna be a Doug Trio. Okay, yep, I'm doing this because he's going to be a Doug Trio. Okay, he's gonna be Nugs. Let's see. Let's see, that's one, two, three, so he would be Nugs 23 to 25 is what his name's going to be. And then I'm going to trade him to a certain YouTuber called Last underscore Gray underscore Wolf, aka Austin, because he did the 50 Nug challenge and those are nugs that he would probably like to forget. And you know what? I don't know when this episode's gonna go up, but I think I might tweet it out the day it goes up. Maybe, we'll see. No, because I have to evolve him first. All right, hello, Ilima. Greetings, Captain Ilima here. As you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find Captain's Barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course, if they are escorted by a strong trainer. Those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades as long as they clear the trials. Are you ready? Then behold the power of a captain. Whoa. I didn't know Ilamo was a magician. Neat magic trick. Voila! I know that's not how you're supposed to say that word. Your world just got a little bit bigger. I am the only captain here on Mele Mele Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Nice. Now that you have cleared the trial, please inform our island kahuna, Hala. Alright, you got it. Oh, uh, hello, um... 
What's his name again? I forgot his name. Kukui. Yes, that's his name. He's waving, so that means he's like a good guy, I suppose. Hey there, Black Ice. Ooh, looking at the expression on Ilma's face, I'd say you cleared your first trial, yeah? Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Zed Power. Woo! Start off by selecting a compatible Z Crystal from the Z Crystal's pocket in your bag. Yeah! Then use the Z Crystal you chose on a Pokémon. Z Crystals are compatible with a Pokémon if it knows a move of the same type as the Crystal. Have your Pokémon hold Z Crystals and you'll be able to use Z Powers in battles. And don't worry, you can use your Z-Crystals over and over on as many Pokémon as you want. Alright, sounds good to me. Anything else? Watch and learn, cousin. Oh, I don't, I don't need it. I really don't need... I, I played the demo. I played the demo. You don't need to do this. Oh, he's gonna do this. Alright. Oh, a Growlithe! Oh! Oh, Growlithe versus Rockroff! Alright, I have to get a Growlithe. It, it has to be done. Alright, he's gonna... I'm not even gonna read what he's saying, but he's just like... See that giant button over there? That's how you use your freaking Z-Powers. And then, you know, all your moves of that type become special Z-Moves. You do a little dance, have a little fun, get down tonight. I don't think that's how that song goes, actually, but whatever. It's how it goes now. Rock Ruff going to use Breakneck Blitz. Look how fast he is. Wait a minute, his legs aren't moving. How's he doing that? Rockruff? I, I hope that wasn't like a turbo fart that propelled you forward at high velocity. Uh, because your legs clearly weren't moving. That's a little scary. Phew, Z-Powers keep all of a trainer's feelings onto a Pokemon. Yeah, which totally wears you out. Using Z-Power once per battle is all a team can handle. Yeah. Oh, so was that why you've been looking so ragged, Professor? No, it's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lily somewhere in Route 3. Oh my god, really? Think you could spare some time to help me look for her, Black Ice? I can go and have a look around the cave for you, in case you wandered that way. Thanks, cousin. Find that Growlithe. I know you're here, Growlithe. I know you're here. You're here somewhere. Smeargle. Okay, not exactly Growlithe, but I can, like, be real mean to the Smeargle and use an attack that, like, won't be very good. Actually. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, um... You know what? Let's just go all out on this guy. We'll, we'll go for the Silver Wind. I think that's more powerful than Struggle Bug, actually. I only get 5 PP out of it, though. He's gonna sketch it, which is fine. I could just go for, like, the Fairy Wind right after that, and it'll be all over for Smeargle. Right? Come on, Cutie Fly, you can do it. Wild Smeargle fainted. All right. Get a little bit of EXP. And that's the battle. Come on, I, I, I would really like Growlithe. If you could, please. Although, this is a bad matchup for Growlithe. Like, if I'm gonna find him. Alright, we got Spiro. No need for you, Spiro. Um, do I even fight him? No, let's just not even... Let's not even fight these Pokemon that aren't Growlithe. Because I need a Growlithe, man. Come on, Growlithe. Come on, Growlithe. I know the odds are on my side this time. Okay, that's like the exact opposite of a Growlithe. I I'm looking for a Pokemon that's like really cool and is a great addition to any team. Because I don't have any fire types and I could use a fire type. Although, I'm never really sure how to use Growlithe and Arcanine because like my first instinct is like, you know, go for physical attacks. And yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Fly, yep. Um, I already have one, here it is. Uh, but it's, like, also decent with special attacks? Either that or I've just always gotten Growlithes with bad natures and therefore their physical and special attacks were basically equal. Although I think it's pretty much a mix sweeper, if I be Or not really even... Well, he is a sweeper, he's really fast. But you got an EV train him there. As I Growlithe, I Growlithe. Alright. The Intimidate does not bother me whatsoever. Alright, so we'll go for the... Oh. 
that's not very effective either. All right, we'll go for the Stun Spore. Get status, old chap. Wow, Growl, it's been peril. Oh, he's got Roar. Okay, this is bad. We have to throw a Pokeball now. Um, and you know what? I think we have to go for the Nest Ball. As much as I hate to do this to Growlithe, the Nest Ball is our best chance. He's really low level, and he's got the uh, status condition, so this should do it. Yes, Growlithe has joined the team. All right, then. Thank you for that. Growlithe's data will be added to the Pokédex. Registered. Get wrecked. Okay. Very nice. Uh, no nickname for you, Growlithe. Uh, you're just gonna be Growlithe. Alright, now, let's go look for Lily. Now that we have our Poké Manor. Route 3. Uh, hello. I happened to pass under a moving shadow and got attacked by wild bird Pokémon. What adorable little pests they are. <laughs> oh, those birds. You gotta love them, you gotta... Oh, no. I didn't actually see that. Alright, well, what kind of bird Pokémon are you being attacked by? Spearow? Spearow's not an adorable little pest. He's just a pest. Alright, cutie fly. I believe in you. This Spearow will be fought, and he will be vanquished with the power of Fairy Wind. Although I do have to be careful, because cutie fly is going to be weak to uh, flying-type attacks such as Peck. I really hope Spearow doesn't use that move. Actually, you know what? Let's just switch out. I'm gonna go Trumbeak. I'm gonna fight Fire with Fire by fighting Bird with Bird. And use Pursuit. Clever Spearow. Seems that birds are smarter than we once thought. The term Bird Brain needs to be reevaluated at once. Alright, but we're just gonna go for, uh... Echo Voice, I guess. I mean, it does more damage, I think. Or maybe not, but I mean, the second attack will definitely KO Spiro. So take that. And I win yet again. You know, it's like I've been playing this game for years and years, and I don't need any tutorials this game gives me. Okay, well, that's not entirely true. There are new features in this game. But overall, it's the same. Ah, Shadow. <laughs> God. Oh, we got a sharp beak. Alright. We're gonna give that to Trumbeak. Which is kind of weird. Why would a why would you give a bird a beak to hold? Doesn't that just seem kind of gross? All right, then we can give the silk scarf to uh, nobody else. I guess I don't know. Uh, nobody can use Snorlium Z. That makes sense. Normalium Z. We have a couple of contenders, but I don't think we need to do that. Actually, let's just go ahead and sort that. We'll sort these. Sort these. And here, have a potion, cutie fly. And you know what? I have a Paralyze Seal for you, Growlithe, because I love you so much. Alright, there we go. Oh, I should have given them the Rage Candy Bar. Or the Big Malasada. Or something. Alright, let's continue. Oh, there's a bird Pokemon. I don't want to fight you birds. I just want all the items in this area. Can I hide in here? Please tell me I can hide in here. Good, I can. Any items in here? No. Are you serious? There's no items here. Alright, well, maybe we can go this way around and there's no birds here? No, but there's a bird catcher, perhaps. Each Pokémon possesses an ability. Understanding these will lead to victory. Alright, he's more of like an ace trainer, know-it-all kind of trainer. Is he? Let's see. Nope, he's just Rising Star Ian. Alright, Ian. Show me your abilities. Okay, you're kind of making me regret getting rid of Absorb, but... It is what it is, I suppose. Alright, we will go for... Let's see, I think I'm going to go for the Struggle Bug, hopefully lower a special attack. I think that might be the right play here. It does lower a special attack. It's going to use Water Gun. Alright, so I feel smart now. And wow, that still did decent damage even though it lowered a special attack. So you know what, I'm going to go for another, yeah, another Struggle Bug. Lower a special attack yet again. There it is. Water Gun gonna do even less damage. And then I think we go for the finisher with another Struggle Bug. Because that way, just in case he survives, it'll lower special attack again. Alright, he didn't survive though, so that's good. 
Good job, cutie fly, and yeah, I guess I'll care for you. I couldn't show off the effects of abilities. What ability did your Psyduck have? Cloud 9? Make the weather go away? No, because Cloud 9 procs at the start of... Or, not even necessarily at the start of the battle, but when the Pokemon gets sent out anyway, so... How do you pet a cutie fly? I don't like that, apparently. Alright, cutie fly, you get some some more pets and then I'm and I'm leaving. You don't get dirty for the rest of the video, okay? Okay. Um, Psyduck can have another ability. I don't remember what it is. Maybe it's damp? I don't... I don't know. I know he can have Cloud Nine. Oh, maybe it's own tempo. No, that doesn't make sense either. Is there any kind of cool items out here? There sure are. Get another heal ball. That's pretty useful, actually. Not gonna lie. Uh, anything hidden over here? No. Nope. All right, so we can just leave and okay, no wild Pokemon. Go up and around the path. Ooh, another trainer. Let's sneak up and come on. Gotcha. Do you have preferences about the type of moves in addition to the type of Pokemon? Um, yes, I prefer Pokemon with, like, good type coverage, and I prefer moves with Stab, if at all possible. I mean, it's definitely possible. I don't think it's possible for a Pokemon to not get some sort of Stab move. Anyway, Petillil, I think is what it is. Petillil, yeah. Um, we're gonna go for the Silver Wind and hopefully get the one-hit KO. Because you're weak to bug attacks. Take that. Okay, it didn't work. It's gonna use Mega Drain, but not very effective against us. Alright, so I guess we just go for the Struggle Bug and take the win. Yeah, because she only has one Pokemon. Alright, good thing I had Cutie Fly leading off the team then. And that should be a level up if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. I told you not to get dirty to get Cutie Fly. I'm not, not doing it this time. More preferences, please. That doesn't make any sense. I already told you. And you look very angry when you said that. It, it just doesn't make sense. Alright, anyway, let's lead off with Pichu. Growlithe will get um, some leading in the next episode. And we can start training Growlithe up a little bit. Alright. And this is where we came out last time. So we've explored that route fully. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Mele Mele Meadow, a paradise with the Oricorio dance. Ooh, Oricorio is a cool Pokemon. Let's go in here. And of course, Lily's in here. What are you doing in here, Lily? Let me guess, Cosmog led you here? Or Nebby, as you so call it. Nebby, Nebby, come back. Oh, yeah. Ah, Black Ice, Nebby ran off into the meadow here. Oh, Nebby, why'd you do that? I see him over there. You little derp. Well, I guess we're gonna have to rescue him again. And right after it got into so much trouble on the bridge, too. What if wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it can use in battle. Oh, that's... Never heard of a Pokemon not having any moves, but okay. And let me guess, we're gonna find a wild Oricorio. We do indeed. I mean, I have to catch Oricorio, right? I have to. I don't have to use it, but I have to at least catch it. It's a cool Pokemon. So we'll go for the um, Thundershock. Should do neutral damage. That's good. And you know what? Let's go. Let's go for the Sweet Kiss. Maybe speed this up a little bit. Growl does not bother me in the slightest. And we do get the confusion. I wonder what the accuracy of Sweet Kiss is. I should check that out. Just because it seems to work every time. 75. All right, it's decent. You know, it's not bad, but it's not as good as I was led to believe it to be because it was actually like doing 100% accurate things. Alright, Oricorio has the pack, not gonna hurt me too much, and I don't think it has any electric attacks that can hurt me too much. I think it needs to have like Revelation Dance or whatever it's called to have um, an electric attack because this Pokemon has four forms. Um, and now we can go catch it. Let's catch it in a Great Ball. Because we have 11 of them, and now we'll have 10. And this should totally work, right? One. Two. A three. And a catch. Gotcha. Oricorio was caught. Oricorio, the cheerleading bird Pokemon. It also has other forms. It might even show the other forms here in the decks. No, it won't. It'll just show cheerleading Oricorio. 
Maybe I'll flash them up on screen because they're pretty cool. It's one of those Pokemon I was really excited for but don't really want to use in the game now that I think about it. This Oricorio has sipped bright yellow nectar. Its bright, cheerful dance melts the hearts of its enemies. Oh my god! This thing is brutal! Jeez. Uh, no. I'm not going to give you a nickname. I very much fear you. Okay. Well, so much for being a cheery cheerleading bird. Are you a battler? No, you just have a disappearing girlfriend. Sorry you dated a ghost, dude. Alright, if it's another Oricorio, I'm just gonna run because it's not a battle. We're gonna win very quickly. Not with Pichu, anyway. And not with Rowlet, now that I think about it, so... Goodbye. See you later. Oh. Okay, well, I couldn't get away. What is Pound? Okay, um... You know, I guess it could have done more damage to me, but, you know, we're still gonna run away, so see ya. wonder why I couldn't get away. I thought Pichu was, like, decently fast. Hello, Nebby. What are you doing, you dummy? Pew! Get back in the bag. Or, you know, better yet, put Nebby in a Pokeball. Ever think of that, Lily? Oh, you. Pew? Thank you, Black Ice. Oh, you're welcome. And I should thank Pichu, too. Here, let me at least do this. You gonna heal up my Pokemon? Thank you so much, I very much appreciate it. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems the Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyway. Yeah, it is pretty interesting that a bird would bother sipping nectar. Pew! Back into the bag, please, Nebby. I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. And I guess we should be going now. The professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well, so we're out of the meadow too then. Hey, 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 Black Eye, so, and Lily's with you too. What are you up to, Hal? Just finished up my trial. <laughs> hey, Black Ice, I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. So that's why Lily healed my Pokemon. She knew Hal was going to be here. All right, Hal, let's do this. Oh, he's got a Pikachu. I mean, he's got a Pikachu. I'm not totally jealous or anything because I had just have Pichu still. Oh boy. Okay. Um, we'll go for the sweet kiss. And hopefully Pikachu doesn't have any physical attacks that it can use on me. So we'll confuse it. Nasty plot like three times in a row and then go for just some insane damage. And hopefully it'll hit itself in confusion a couple times. That's at least one, so the couple times is almost there. And it has a decent attack stat, judging by how much damage it did to itself. Alright, Pichu, use Nasty Plot again. Okay, no more confusion. And it's play nice. It'll just lower my attack, right? Not my special attack? Yes, okay, I'm fine with that. But I do want to go for the confusion one more time. Snapped out a little bit too fast for not my liking. And yes, he has a quick attack, so that's a little bit bad. But not entirely bad. Hopefully he doesn't go for the quick attack. Okay, he does go for it again. Oh boy. Okay, we get the sweet kiss. We'll go ahead and use a potion. And hopefully it will hurt itself in confusion as to not hurt us again. Because I think Pichu can win this battle, and I really want it to. You hear that, Pichu? I'm behind you 100%. On, hurt yourself for confusion. No, you're supposed to be confused. Alright, we're okay though. We can use one more nasty plot. Get our special attack real high and good. Come on. Oh, he didn't get confused again. Alright. He did nine damage that time, so we can survive another hit. Alright, Pichu. Use your very powerful Thunder Shock. Yes, and he hurt himself in confusion again. Let's see how much damage we'll do here. Probably not a whole lot, but that was very good. You know what? Use Thunder Shock again. Come on, Pichu, you're too confused. No, no. Oh, one HP. Come on, Pichu, you can do it. Yeah, go, Pichu. All right, you defeated your evolved brother.
or sister, brother, because it was male Pikachu. All right, and how's gonna send out Poplio? You know who's real good <laughs> against Poplio? It's Pichu. Um, Pichu. Oh, I can't risk you fainting. I I don't want to cheese it by using another potion, but I just can't risk it. I think Pichu would be fast enough to go first, and then probably get a one-hit KO. Disarming voice. That's gonna lower my attack. No, it just is a fairy type attack. All right, Pichu. All right, so Pichu could have won the battle single-handedly. I didn't need to use the potion, but I didn't want to risk it because Pichu's a happiness evolution. Oh man, I wanted to show off my Pokemon's best side more. Ho <laughs> ho! Here, have some money. Oh how you goofball! So you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, Black Ice? Looks like we're getting pretty strong, but I wonder if I'll really be able to beat my Gramps at this rate. Hey there, Black Ice. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, thanks for tracking Lily down for me. What's this then? How? You finish your first trial too? I bet you some stylin' moves, yeah? <laughs> right. Stylin' moves. I think Hal's lying about beating the trial. Hal is probably rubbing his hands together with glee right now. Oh yeah. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle the island's kahuna. Taking on the Island Kahuna in battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be ju the judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town. Catch that Tailwind and blast through Route 3. Wow. Okay, how really caught that Tailwind? He was off like a... Light? No, that doesn't work there. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here, and next time we will make our way through the rest of Route 3 into Icky Town and try to take on the Grand Challenge. So, thank you all so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone, have a great day.